कभी भी रिक्वेस्ट है द मोस्ट फैसिनेटिंग फैक्ट विद जस्टिस कोठारी इज इन्हें जब भी बोले कभी भी बोले किसी भी टॉपिक बोले ही इज ऑलवेज रेडी व्हिच ओनली शोस द वॉल्यूम ऑफ नॉलेज व्हिच ही हैज एंड दोस हु हैव बीन कनेक्टेड विद बियॉन्ड लॉ सीएलसी दे नो दिस फैक्ट दैट ही हैज डन वेरियस वेबिनार्स विद अस एंड वी आर सो प्राउड ऑफ दैट फैक्ट दैट जस्टिस कोठारी इन हिज professional journey as a lawyer first then the judge and then again the lawyer they say that the lawyer maybe even if you are a judge it never dies it keeps on the spirit continues to live on and that's one of the factor which shows that so many judges after demitting their office come back to the practice because the law law lawyer are such key instruments in helping the society at large that it's always happening to see such persons coming back to the platform we would request justice kothari the former acting chief justice to share his knowledge over to you sir we a pleasure thank you uh, having connected with you again over to you thank you vikas ji it's a great pleasure and honor uh, beyond cs se jodna mere liye ab ek tarah se part of life hai aur <laughs> i am happy to be lawyer again after my 16 years innings as a judge in four high courts and i was lucky uh, to serve four high courts of the country all the four big high courts or uh, webinars whenever i participate either as a uh, speaker or as a delegate or as a listener also i feel happy because uh, as a student of law one keeps on learning by preparing for these webinars whenever the topic is decided or whatever and i must acknowledge here in the beginning itself that uh, my research team even though they are not presently physically in my office whenever i was judge in different courts have very kindly and very actively have been assisting me and i draw upon their resources uh, any time so even if at midnight hour i tell them to make some research they will be very happy to do it and within 24 hours i will have something and i would like to name a few of them because they have been wonderful persons my friends younger friends who in different parts of country have been helping me uh mehul and pradeep from my office of course then gitanjali meghna jagrat heli and pallavi modi all these people are ever ready to assist me on whatever topic because you know uh, as a i would not say i'm old person as a young person of 62 Uh, i may be tax savvy but not that much as these young people are and uh, they have different resources at their hand to uh, find out uh, material on any topic and in the present uh, today's theme also they were nice enough to uh, supply much of the material to me and as a judge and as a lawyer uh, again as vikas ji has rightly said i am happy to churn that material in my mind and then uh, share some of the thoughts with uh, you learned people from the fraternity so that uh, as a institution or as a community hum log sab saath milkar hamari institution ke bare mein kuch sochein kuch acha kare kuch samjhein aur jo bhi acha humse ho sakta hai because ultimately life is a gift of god and uh, if we can do something good to the society during this uh, uh, 60 70 80 years whatever the god gives us it is a great thing to happen to us uh, isi uh, spirit ke sath मैंने आज के टॉपिक को विकास जी के साथ तय किया था कि हम कुछ ट्रैवल्स और फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट्स के बारे में बात करें जो कि स्पेशलाइजेशन के नाम पे इंडिया में बहुत सालों से चल रहा है इफ आई कैन टेल यू 1941 इनकम टैक्स एबलेट ट्रैवल वाज द फर्स्ट स्पेशल ट्रैवल टू बी स्टैब्लिश इवन बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस एंड आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस एक्चुअली दैबलाइजेशन वर्सेज कोर्ट has been a great debate going on kya tribunals banana sahi hai kya tribunals effectively apna role kar pa rahi hain kitni tribunals hain india mein after all kitni tarah ki tribunals hum log uh, india mein uh, litigants or taxpayers or uh, disputants ko serve karne ke liye banayi hai government ne aur unki aaj ki sthiti kya hai log kya se benefit ho rahe hain are they really working nicely efficiently and delivering timely justice and what kind of uh, problems they are facing what kind of pendency they are facing are they usual run of the mill kind of uh, dispensations or 
they are really effective uh, systems put in place by the government to help the litigants and create an atmosphere of justice delivery in country so that ultimately ease of business as they say and for peace in the society as is required which is the very purpose of the uh, justice delivery system is it achieved or not achieved is the uh, theme around which we will be discussing uh, i will of course speak in uh, both the languages english and hindi as uh, discussed and promised to mr vikasi because there are audience from all parts of the country and you can send your uh, questions on chat box or you can send uh, uh, in the chat box of course and towards the end of the uh, talk uh, or you can raise hand switch on your video and then come on the screen and uh, talk directly to me also there is no issues about that we are not restricted or uh, uh, in that matter anyways and uh, therefore it will be a pleasure to interact with you all friends and uh, learn more and then i think uh, drive my uh, talk today on the channels uh, uh, towards a better direction so uh, let me first give a uh, brief idea about the special courts and tribunals uh, in our country now there are two types of uh, tribunals uh, or special courts which we have in this country india uh, one is uh, the articles 323 capital a and article 323 capital b tribunals uh, as provided in the constitution as you might be knowing article 323 capital a provides for creation of the administrative tribunal administrative tribunals means working in service jurisprudence for the resolution of the disputes of the employer employees now cat as you know central administrative tribunals in 1985 act 1986 act administrative tribunals act was created which which uh, with a great aplomb bahut sara usme ye mehsoos kiya gaya ki is tribunal ke ban jane se service jurisprudence ka ya service disputes ka jo load normal courts pe high courts ya labor courts ya district courts wo offload ho sakega aur expeditious disposal ho sakega बनी 1986 से मैं खुद स्टैंडिंग काउंसिल रहा इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट का काफी सालों तक वहां पर जब मैं लॉयर था और बहुत अच्छी बनी थी और शुरुआत में मैं कह सकता हूं कि सीएटी की परफॉर्मेंस बहुत अच्छी रही थी आज की तारीख में भी मैं इनफेक्टिव तो नहीं करूंगा पर कुछ कारण है जो सारी ट्रेबल्स को एक तरह से प्लेग करती है उस प्रॉब्लम को उससे वो ग्रसित है बीमारी से ग्रसित है वो हम सब कॉमन फैक्टर है ज्यादातर लोग जानते भी हैं बट वी विल डिस्कस एंड ट्राई टू suggest some solutions for these problems so that uh, the tribunals can really be effective substitutes what the government or parliament thought of making these tribunals or fast track uh, special courts to be real substitutes of the normal courts like civil courts or district judges court or even high court in normal jurisdiction to ye kya ho paya hai ki nahi ho paya hai iske bare mein kuch apan baat karenge to 323a mein administrative tribunals 323 कैपिटल बी में स्पेशल लॉज की ट्रिब्यूनल पार्लियामेंट बना सकती है जैसे टैक्स हुआ लेबर हुआ वगैरह स्पेशल फील्ड के लिए तो उसमें जैसे सारी आपके एनजीटी बनी ये स्पेशल स्टेचुटरी ट्रिब्यूनल है सब तो दूसरा कंसेप्ट जो है आर्टिकल 323 ए और 323 में अगर आपको याद हो तो टैक्स ट्रिब्यूनल बीच में बनी थी ये टू के आसपास हर स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर ने अपनी जैसे हम राजस्थान से बिलोंग करते हैं राजस्थान टैक्स ट्रिब्यूनल बनी आरटीटी वो कुछ साल ही चल पाए पता नहीं फॉर किस रीजन से उसका पीछे पॉलिटिकल बैकग्राउंड भी हो सकता है या नॉन इफेक्टिवनेस भी हो सकती है और बाद में कुछ जजमेंट्स जैसे एल चंद्र कुमार का सुप्रीम कोर्ट का सेवन जजेस का जजमेंट आया उसमें कह दिया कि आपने अगर हाईकोर्ट का जुरिस्टिक्शन टेक अवे करके भी आर्टिकल थ्री और बी की ट्रिब्यूनल बनाई है तो भी supervised the jurisdiction under article 227 and 226 the high court will have power to issue writs against the judgments and orders of these tribunals and that created a sort of one more tier for the litigants uh, in in this uh, area of tribunals and that further lamba usko jo kehte hain process ko karna ho gaya kyunki writs mein jaane ke baad high court ka apna schedule hota hai apni business hoti hai apna workload hota hai उसके हिसाब से उनको समय नेचुरली ज्यादा लगना ही था एक समस्या जो मैं एज ए जज एज ए लॉयर बात भी करता रहा हूं 
multiple tier of remedial procedures in this country is a serious problem which we all should think and uh, try to do something about it. We have at least three or four layers of the remedial measures starting from the lower or lowest court to higher one appellate jurisdiction, then high court jurisdiction either in appeal side, revision side or writ side. Three avenues are provided. And then further intra-court appeal in the high court itself. So two tiers in high court itself. Then third and final goes to Supreme Court under either Article 136 or regular, regular appeal on the certificate of appeals given by the high court. These multiple tiers of appeals and revisions and judicial review, if you can, you can broadly call them, is not, uh, in my humble opinion, uh, good because of sheer length of time which is spent in uh, this. I feel maximum one and in rare cases, second judicial review is enough. Nothing more than that is required. Ultimately, you have to train judicial officers pe. faith. If there is no deficiency, then you have to give proper training. And this is the administrative terminals which is the main criticism of today. It is that the judicial trained minds or judges they constitute only half of the strength of the tribunal. Remaining half is from the technical members they are calling. They are mostly bureaucrats and they are mostly from the other side of the services. Okay, they can specialization. They can't do it. But they can 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 so, the purpose of special tribunals is that we have a subject of special tribunal, so the trained judicial officers or trained benches, trained judges, or trained members can be used properly dispute resolution. So, this is the purpose of the purpose of the purpose the purpose of 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 the there are overloaded vacancies, hai, overloaded uh, pendency, hai, uh, peshi is very long, procedures are complicated, and the uh, judiciary is famous for the tariq, pe, tariq, tariq, pe, tariq, wala isi thi. tribunals. Mein bhi ho rahe. Aaj ki tariq mein maine closely examined kiya hai, NCLT, NGT, etc. cases. So there is no good in there. And जो एक बहुत important law को NCLT deal करती है IBC जिसका very purpose was to clear the uh, the backlog of the NPAs non-performing assets आज economy का uh, uh, read की हड्डी होती है backbone होता है business और trade और industry वहाँ के cases अगर uh, NCLT में दो दो तीन तीन चार चार साल चलते हैं और इस दर्मियान जिस कंपनी के मिसमैनेजमेंट या नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स की वजह से वहां प्रोडक्शन रुका पड़ा एसेट्स का यूजर रुका पड़ा है वो आप चाहे कमिटी ऑफ क्रेडिटर्स बना रहे हैं चाहे इंसॉल्वेंसी रिजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल्स लगा रहे हैं चाहे कुछ भी लगा रहे हैं वो सफर करता है और उसका क्विक रिजोल्यूशन नहीं होना एक बहुत बड़ा सेटबैक है इस कांसेप्ट को ही कि आप NCLT के माध्यम से IBC और बैंक रिकवरी के केसेस को जल्दी सुलझा दें Bank recovery के लिए आप लोग देखते हैं, right from original stage of filing of civil suits, जो before DRT Act came in 1986, it used to be there. DRT Act came, you created DR80 and DRT, that recovery tribunal, appellate trial. What happened there? Ultimately, they failed. They failed to deliver. Then you thought of Surface Act, 2002. Surface Act came, again there were blockages. Like you have any blockages in your heart veins and other veins, they also could not deliver. The problem of uh, non-performing assets, non-realization of the dues, change of management, efficient management, major defaults, major uh, uh, frauds, etc. Everything continued. You can go on creating forums and institutions and fast track specialized codes. But unless you have the adequate number of judges to man, and not only adequate number, 
properly trained specialization uh, holding people like chartered accountants in the case of uh, this uh, nclt now very few i am fortunately a chartered accountant also so i am in touch with some people who are cas now members of the nclt but they are far and few in between mostly the complaint is that the people who are manning these tribunals are not really ingrained with that subject now that's the problem unless you have a subject specialized person to deliver to decide to hear those complicated uh, complex problems of law as well as facts how can you deliver so ye kuch tarah ki samasya hai jo in tribunals ki working mein ek tarah se bahut jyada roda ban rahi hai aade aa rahi hai to abhi maine i was trying to research some material with the help of my team uh they say there are exact number of total tribunals in the country no source is given now as per wikipedia i found out that there are 14 tribunals presently working under specialized law in this country i may just name them so that you can just have a broad idea what kind of tribunals we are talking about industrial tribunal income tax appellate tribunal customs excise and service tax tribunal appellate tribunal under smugglers and foreign exchange manipulators say administrative tribunals railway claims tribunal securities appellate tribunal debt recovery tribunal telecom dispute settlement and appellate tribunal national companies law appellate tribunal and nclt of course national consumer dispute redressal commission appellate tribunal for electricity armed forces tribunal national green tribunals now these are all tribunals which are created either under specific law or article 323a and 323b of the constitution now just a brief distinction between these two type of tribunals article 323a and b tribunals were more closer to the features of the courts the difference main difference between courts and tribunals is they are being they being the court of record and have the power to issue contempt so if you are a court of record if you have power to punish somebody for the breach of your orders then you are a court otherwise short of these you may have all judicial powers to adjudicate but you will remain a tribunal as per l chandra kumar judgment you will remain subject to supervisory jurisdiction of the high court l chandra kumar said division bench of high court will have 227 and 226 powers over the orders of all the tribunals even though the provisions of the act under which these tribunals were created specifically excluded the jurisdiction of the high court and provided for a direct appeal to the supreme court either in the article 136 of the constitution slp jurisdiction or certificate of appeals par aaj ki tarikh mein litigants itne desperate hain itne uh, easy or uh, itna quick justice mangte hain ki unko easy remedy quick remedy high court mein nazar aata hai par mera jo thoda experience raha hai 20 saal ka as a lawyer aur 16 saal ka as a judge हाई कोर्ट में आना आसान है इंट्री मिलीव तक की बहस भी ठीक है पर आप फाइनल डिसीजन लेने में वहां जो टाइम लगता है वो अपना खुद का टाइम होता है और हर हाई कोर्ट का अलग अलग बिजी वर्क शेड्यूल्स होती है एंड वी आर शॉर्ट ऑफ जजेस इवन इन हाई कोर्ट ब्रॉडली स्पीकिंग एवरीबडी से फोर्टी परसेंट वैकेंसी सिंड्रोम इज गोइंग ऑन इन हाई कोर्ट फ्रेंड्स आई हैव ए थॉट ऑन दिस लेट मी शेयर माई थॉट विद यू हियर एंड नाउ हम लोग आज की तारीख में ट्रेवल्स में वैकेंसीज बेस्ड रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस इनिशिएट करती है मिनिस्ट्री और एप्लीकेशन इन्वाइट करने के बाद जो प्रोसीजर है उसका उसके हिसाब से अपॉइंटमेंट का वेट लिस्ट बनता है या रिकमेंडेशन बनती है और फाइनल अपॉइंटिंग ऑथोरिटी गवर्नमेंट करती है मेरे विचार में इन माई एम्बल ओपिनियन वाई कांट वी हैव ए पूल और वेट लिस्टेड पीपल ready to be appointed in these chat take their willingness see their background see their subject backgrounds see their age health prepare a list in advance of twice or thrice the number of vacancies which are there or which are likely to arise in next 2 3 years keep on updating that list by recruitment 
by regular selection process. If the government can think little out of box and create a recruitment selection process on the lines of creating a pool of people ready to be appointed to these terminals, you will never have vacancy syndrome. The mo moment vacancy is envisaged or computed or added, you can just request the people in that list to come up and join. Even if serial number one does not join, serial number two, two does not join, three, wait list. So this concept is not alien to service jurisprudence. But you have to undertake the process of selection on a regular basis. Har chai mahine, har saal bar mein aap vector process kariye. Aap retired judges, retired district judges, retired bureaucrats, say options le liji. Unka criteria decide kar diye, unki qualifications decide kar diye. NCLT mein aapko commerce background ke admi chahiye, banking ke background ke admi chahiye, wo list prepare kariye. NGT mein aapko scientists chahiye, engineers chahiye, environmentalists chahiye, wo list tayar kariye. आप सब्जेक्ट स्पेसिफिक लोगों का वेट लिस्ट बना करके पूल बना करके वैकेंसी सिंड्रोम को टोटली फिनिश कर सकते हैं इस राय पे मेरी राय में जो भी कंसर्न है दी पावर्स दैट बी शुड थिंक ऑन दीज लाइंस एंड रिसेंटली यू नो टर्नर्स रिफॉर्म बिल इज सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ एडुकेशन बाय द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट्स गोइंग ऑन मेट्रोस बार एसोसिएशन दैट टूलिंग इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन सो दैट दैट केस इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन and the honorable judges have also suggested creating a ntc national tribunal commission where all these appointment process will be supervised to ye ek recruitment ka aaj ki tribunal tribunals ki bhi jo difficulty aa rahi hai wahan bhi jo backlog ho raha hai wahan bhi jo pendency ho rahi hai delivery nahi ho rahi faster disposal nahi ho raha uska main reason ye hai ki aapke paas manpower trained judges jo wahan lagne chahiye wo number mein nahi hai तो आप उसकी फ्यूचर की प्लानिंग करिए उसका प्रेजेंट को देखिए उसको प्रेजेंट को फिलअप करिए वैकेंसी सारी जब तक आपके पास वैकेंसी नहीं होगी फिलअप नहीं होगी तब तक आप कैसे एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे मैं समझता हूं ऑन एन एवरेज एक ट्राइब्यूनल या एक इंस्टीट्यूशन के पास वन थाउजेंड केसेस का वर्कलोड बहुत होता है विद माई एक्सपीरियंस आई कैन सेन थाउजेंड केसेस डिपेंडिंग ऑन बेस एनसीआरटी में हो सकता है आपके पास सौ केस भी भारी पड़ जाए पर नॉर्मल केस अगर हजार से ज्यादा है तो आप उसको सर्कुलेट नहीं कर सकते अभी टू थ्री मंथ्स के अंदर और कभी हर जगह अर्जेंट केसेस होते हैं इंट्रीम एप्लीकेशन होती है अर्जेंट एप्लीकेशन पे कुछ ऑर्डर सही होते हैं तो सब बातें इंट्री मेजर्स के तौर पे चलती हैं हजार से ज्यादा अगर किसी कोर्ट का वर्कलोड है तो आप उसका एडिशनल कोड क्रिएट करने के लिए आपका सिस्टम होना चाहिए ये सब बातें ऑलरेडी लेड इन द रूल्स ही होनी चाहिए ताकि उस पर वर्क चलता रहे काम होता रहे और एक नॉर्मल प्रोसेस में पीपल कैन गेट सिलेक्टेड एंड यू कैन कीप देम अपॉइंटिंग नाउ लेट मी कम बैक टू द वर्किंग ऑफ दीज चैनल्स इन अवर कंट्री फ्रेंड्स टू माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द चैनल्स ऑल हैव बीन गिवन लिबर्टी नॉट टू फॉलो द प्रोसीजर्स ऑफ द नॉर्मल सिविल कोर्ट दे कैन इवॉल्व देर ओन प्रोसीजर दे कैन मेक देर ओन रूल्स rules have been provided for them and they are not strictly bound by the provisions of the evidence act and the civil procedure code the civil procedure code 1908 as we all know is rather ill famous for enlengthening the trial itself that is why these channels have been given power and liberty to escape to skip or to shorten or cut short these procedures to suit their own requirements uske baad bhi broadly to comply with the principles of the natural justice fairness and because the basic principle justice should not only be done it should also appear to have been done is there to broadly procedure aapko waisa follow karna padta hai jo evidence act aur civil procedure code mein diya hai par uske rigors jo hai tribunals ko bind nahi karte aur tribunals ke jo rules bante hain वो जनरली उनको सफिशिएंट फ्रीडम देती हैं कि आप अपना प्रोसीजर अपना टाइम फ्रेम अपना एफिडेविट फाइलिंग का एविडेंस देने का क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन का करी का अब तो सारी ट्रेवनल्स ऑलमोस्ट कोविड के पीरियड में ऑनलाइन वर्किंग शुरू हुई और आज की तारीख में कोविड नहीं भी है तो भी अब ऑनलाइन सिस्टम ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कोर्ट्स एंड ट्रेवनल्स आर मेकिंग इट इज इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ देयर हियरिंग प्रोसेस एंड दैट्स वेरी गुड आई बिलीव बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी का ये बेनिफिट तो 
हम कोर सिस्टम या जुडिशियल डिस्पेंसेशन में डेफिनेटली ले सकते हैं और अगर कुल मिला के कोविड की कोई पॉजिटिव लेसन हमने दो ढाई साल में सीखा तो यही सीखा है कि ऑनलाइन भी इफेक्टिवली आप वर्क कर सकते हैं मैंने खुद ने भी जब मेट्रो साइकिल का काम किया तो मैंने घर से भी किया मैं मेरे होम टाउन से भी महीने भर किया गुजरात का मोस्ट ऑफ द पीरियड आई डिट माई वर्क फ्रॉम दैम्बर्स एट होम बिकॉज रेस्ट्रिक्शन देर ऑन दी गोइंग आउट एक्सेट्रा सो दिस इज वेरी गुड नो प्रॉब्लम इन दैट and barring some snags some technical issue somewhere the technology is now i believe evolved enough good enough to provide this forum as an alternative way of addressing your grievances ek mera suggestion and in terminals ke bare mein aur hai friends iska minimum tenure now we are talking in this country about the increasing the age of all the judges also today the age of retirement of 60 and 62 i believe is very very uh, very very uh, impractical i would say the time when you have the most uh, matured and uh, experienced uh, judges with good health who can perform very well for next 5 to 7 years you send them on and, and pay them 50% of the salary as pension the the the, the better course would have been to uh, use their services for next 5 to 7 years subject to their option of course you could do that तो एक ट्राइबल्स में भी जो ये प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही है 67 इयर्स और 4 इयर्स नाउ रिसेंटली आई वाज रीडिंग एन आर्टिकल वेयर दे आर एडिंग अ कॉज दैट डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ प्लेजर हैज बीन अप्लाइड इन देयर अपॉइंटमेंट ऑल्सो मिस्टर अरविंद दातार हैज रिटन अ ब्यूटीफुल आर्टिकल एंड ही रेज दिस इशू दैट हाउ कैन यू मेक द टेन्योर सब्जेक्ट टू द प्लेजर ऑफ द अपॉइंटिंग ऑफ दिस यू शुड गिव देम अ एश्योरेंस ऑफ द टेन्योर so the tenure in my opinion should be minimum 7 years for the tribunal members and for the chairman or presiding officer or president minimum 3 years to really take control and grip of all the institutional matters and then with the consultation of his team he should be able to deliver good results and good policy decisions and good judgments also to ye sab aap jab tak aap unko tenure nahi doge freedom nahi doge ईज ऑफ वर्किंग नहीं दोगे तब तक ट्रेवल्स का वर्किंग का पर्पज जो था इफेक्टिव एंड एक्सपीडिशियस डिस्पोजल ऑफ केसेस ऑफ टारगेटेड सब्जेक्ट विल नेवर बी अचीव देर फॉर ये जो प्रॉब्लम है हम बार भले ही पॉलिसी मेकर्स के लिए कर रहे हो पर आप क्योंकि सब लीगल सर्टेंटी के लोड है एज लॉयर्स हैं कुछ उनमें से जजेस बनेंगे कुछ पॉलिसी मेकर्स बनेंगे या कुछ उनमें इंटरेक्शन कम से कम होगा तो आप इस बात को समझने का जरूर प्रयास करें ट्रैबल का वर्किंग कैसे होता है क्या होता है क्या रूल्स है वो तो आपके जब कोई केस आएगा आप किसी ट्रैबल में जाएंगे तो आपको वहां का प्रोसीजर के बारे में अपने आप से पढ़ना ही पड़ेगा आपको उसी फॉर्मेट में फाइल पेश करनी पड़ेगी उसी में काउंटर रिप्लाई पेश करना पड़ेगा रिजॉइंडर पेश करना पड़ेगा बहस करनी पड़ेगी वगैरह वगैरह ये सब बातें यहाँ इस वेबिनार में सिखाने की कोई बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत नहीं ये प्रैक्टिकल फील्ड की बात है विच एनी लॉयर or law students also if they are specifically studying about those terms can very well understand the rules are in place rules have been framed and as i said they are free from the shackles of the uh, cpc and evidence act not exactly free but they work on the broad outlines of these broad laws procedural laws on which uh, the tribunals and courts have to function <clears throat> तो हम जो बात कह रहे हैं कि ये इन ट्रैवल्स के बारे में अभी एनटीसी बनने पे एक कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ द ट्रैवल्स का और काम हुआ है दी दी पार्लियामेंट एंड दी लॉज दी दी पार्लियामेंट एंड गवर्नमेंट हैव एबॉलिश सर्टेन ट्रैवल्स एंड कंसोलिडेट देम इनटू न्यू ट्रैवल्स लेट मी गिव यू सम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो एंड देन आई गिव यू सम आइडिया अबाउट दी लीडिंग केसेस अबाउट दी ट्रैवल्स and tribunalization or specific subject specific tribunals firstly let me give a report from the department of justice which i took out with the help of my research team as i gave them the credit for that and that is presently 1023 fast track special courts ftsc fast track special courts are working in this country since october 2019 and for expeditious travel and out of this 1023 389 are poxo courts 
sexual offences against children. Special courts have been created. So 399 POCSO courts in 27 states or UTs, which have disposed of 81,462 pending cases as per report given in February 2022 as latest as this. So wonderful disposal. 80. So you see, the, the, if, if, the, if you create subject-specific tribunals and uh, courts, they can deliver, but subject to other factors which you have briefly discussed also. During the financial year 2021-22, a total of rupees 134.56 crores has been released as central share of funds for functioning of such fast track special courts in states. For the robust implementation of this scheme, this department has created online monitoring framework for monthly monitoring of cases statistics, regular review meetings with the registrar journals of high courts and state functions are being undertaken. Now, you see, we in this country uh, create a special courts sometimes when the emergent situations arise. Now, sexual offenses is one subject, unfortunately, which has become such a burning topic in this country for last 10 years, which resulted in the criminal uh, CRPC amendment law also, after Justice Verma's commission report. And specific special courts were created under the special law dealing with pox. Very unfortunate offense, unfortunately, uh, really. But then a special scheme and creation of fast track courts under this scheme has brought somewhat satisfactory results also. We should not only criticize something which is happening good in the country also. Because these statistics show up to February 2022, 81,462 POCSO cases decided is a wonderful thing to happen. But friends, on this aspect, one more thought which I always churn in my mind is that these kind of offenses will not stop or will not even reduce merely by these kind of special course or special treatment to these cases. The correction, the improvement has to start elsewhere and that is in the educational institutions right from primary level to college. I have been saying this with a great sense of pain in my heart everywhere that this country's psyche of the youth has to be changed drastically if you want to prevent these kind of offenses in the country. Therefore, a, a very serious thought has to be given besides when we as judges and lawyers deal with these kind of subjects in webinars and conferences. Somebody else also has to equally seriously think about reforming our education system with the overhaul, teaching moral education, good civic sense, good sense towards behavior, towards opposite sex, etc. Are the things which are, which are taught firstly by parents and elders in the family, and then secondly, by the educational institutions which you go to. And the AAC is thought must go there also. This is just besides the point which we are dealing in this webinar, but I thought I should give my thoughts to you people so that let us progress and evolve together. Friends, if you have heard of a special course act itself, let us just to clarify the confusion I am mentioning this also. The emergency period 1975 to 77 resulted in a law called Special Courts Bill 1978, on which the President of India under Article 143 of Constitution sought an opinion from the Supreme Court, which they have a liberty to do so under Article 143. They sought the opinion on the constitutionality of the special courts bill, which were, which were to create a special courts for dealing with the offenses created or committed during the emergency period of 1975 to 77. Now, the Supreme Court upheld, of course, this uh, constitutionality and gave a very detailed opinion under Article 143 in the case of INRI special courts 1978 in the judgment reported in AIR 79, Supreme Court, page 478. AIR 1979, 
Supreme Court 4, page 478. Now the Supreme Court gave certain advices, actually on reference, you give your advice also. And that some of the points there, just for your clarification of the thought I am giving you, these are these were the special courts which were later on repealed. This law itself was repealed. So this they survived only for a special brief period of two, three, four years. The Supreme Court said that the parliament had legislative competence to enact the law under entries 2A of list 3 of at the 77 of list 1. Concurrent powers and union powers both were invoked to enact these laws, a special law on which the constitution was not under challenge but opinion was sought. It also ruled that classification made by the bill was valid and did not infringe article 14 as it classified both offenses and class offenders. The question was whether for a separate class of offenders, for a specific type of offenses in a specific period, can it be violative article 14? The court said, no, it is not violative article 14. The court held that offenses alleged to have been committed during period of emergency constitutes a class by themselves, and so do the persons who have utilized the high public offices by them as cover or opportunity to commit those offenses. Thus, there was a close relationship between the basis of classification and object of speedy trial of the bill. Now, generally, you see, we read when we talk about Article 14 violation, what do we say? If the legislation has a rational nexus to the object sought to be achieved, then Article 14 is not violated. And the law in question is held valid on the touchstone of Article 14. That is the legal, certain legal position which on which the courts examine the constitutional validity of any law. So on this basis, the Honorable Supreme Court in that case said that it's a reasonable classification. If you want a speedy trial for a specific type of offenses, nothing wrong with that. The court also held that apart from recruit requirement of Article 14, the law must be also satisfied. The requirement of Article 21, which requires that the procedure provided for the trial of such offenders must be fair, just, and reasonable. The court found three procedural defects in the bill. Firstly, there was no provision in the bill for transfer of cases from one special court to another. Secondly, the bill empowered the government to appoint retired high court judges to preside over a special court. Thirdly, the judges were appointed by the government only with the consultation of the Chiefs of India and concurrence. Since all these three procedures were acceptable to the government, the court held that the bill was constitutional. Later on, the special courts repeal at 1982, repeal the special courts at 1979. So three years life period. But since it talked about a special courts with which we are talking today, Though we are talking more in the context of tribunals, not the special courts as such. But as you know, like POXO courts, POXO courts are nothing but separately designating some senior civil judges or district judges as the POXO courts. And they deal with specific offenses of sexual offenses against children below the specified age. So this specialization of the tribunals, creating of the fast track courts, in this system, within this system, has been a concept which has been in vogue for quite a number of years. In Rajasthan also we had fast track courts, later on they were repealed. I don't know why. But fast track courts creation is a good thing to happen. At least you have a targeted system of justice delivery. And you can always hold those people accountable if they are not delivering in a fast track manner. So specialization is okay, nothing wrong about it. But there are always some caveats, some assumptions, some guiding notes which should be fulfilled for even these fast track courts. As I've said, full manpower, trained properly, case law not to be that big as is usually available in the uh, civil courts. We now have around four, four, four crore cases and 70% of them in the district courts, 20%, 25% in the uh, high courts, 25 high courts, and then remaining with the honorable Supreme Court. So if you can, if you will keep the workload higher than the humanly possible uh, thing, then delays are bound to happen. 
तो जब भी कभी ये बात हमसे लोग पूछते हैं सब कि बहुत डिले बहुत डिले बहुत डिले क्यों होता है तो मैंने कहा भाई आप एक आदमी दिन में जैसे आठ घंटे नॉर्मल काम कर सकता है आप क्या एक्सपेक्ट करते हो जजेस से कितना काम करना चाहिए ऑन एन एवरेज मेरी राय में हर जज बारह तेरह घंटे तो काम करता हो तो उससे ज्यादा ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल इम्पॉसिबल चीज को आप कैसे एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हो तो जो साइज ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइव टाइम्स टेन टाइम्स होनी चाहिए वहां उसी इंस्टीट्यूशन या उसी टीम पे आप कितना वर्कलोड डालेंगे फिर कैसे आप एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे एक्सपीडिशियस तो ये चीजें सब सिस्टम में इनबेट होनी चाहिए कितना आइडियल वर्कलोड है कितना वर्कलोड एग्जिस्टिंग है कितना फ्यूचर में एक्सपेक्टेड है हमने बातें लॉ कमीशन की रिपोर्ट्स में बहुत सारी करी इंपैक्ट ऑफ न्यू लेजिस्लेशन ऑन दी क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कोर सिस्टम बहुत सारी रिपोर्ट है रिपोर्ट आर फुल ऑफ दीज रिकमेंडेशन बट वेयर इज द इंप्लीमेंटेशन सेक्शन 138 ऑफ़ ऑफ़ एनआई है, विच क्रिएटेड ऑलमोस्ट इंपॉसिबल बर्डन ऑल ओवर डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशियरी इज एग्जांपल। यू सडनली मेड इट ए क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस डिसऑनर ऑफ चेक एंड ऑल केसेस गॉट ट्रांसफर्ड यू क्रिएटेड कॉमर्शियल कोर्ट्स एक्ट 2015 थाउजेंड एक्ट ऑल केसेस ट्रांसफर टू डेजिग्नेटेड कोर्ट सेम पीपल टूडे यू कॉल डिस्ट्रिक्ट टू गो टू दी कॉमर्शियल कोर्ट एंड होल्ड इज कोर्ट Tomorrow he comes back to district court and does his normal uh, sale uh, partition suits. What is the difference? So when you create a legislation which will require a specific justice dispensation, वो आप पूरा infrastructure से लेकर के manning of the staff and judges तक का provision कहाँ है budget? कहाँ उसके लिए budget? नहीं होता है मेरे एक्सपीरियंस में मुझे तीस साल में कहीं दिखा नहीं इवन दी हाई कोर्ट सेट टू लुक टू दी फाइनेंस सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द स्टेट फॉर रिलीज ऑफ द बजट एंड ऑफ कोर्स दे वर कॉपरेटिव बट देन यू टू टेल देम फाइनेंशियल ऑटोनॉमी ऑफ द जुडिशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन इज अनदर आस्पेक्ट जिसपे एक सीरियस थॉट जाना जरूरी है आप नेम से एक इंस्टीट्यूशन ट्रेवनल्स बनाते रहेंगे और उसको अगर इफेक्टिव बनाने के लिए उसको फाइनेंस नहीं देंगे तो ये तो यही हुआ कि आप प्यासे के लिए बंद बॉटल का पानी दे दीजिए पानी आपको नहीं मिलेगा कैसे करेंगे काम आप ये बातें सोचने की गवर्नमेंट की है पर जब तक हम लोग आवाज नहीं उठाएंगे लीगल फ्रेटर्निटी वाले कौन आपको क्या देने वाला है तो टर्मिनलिज्म की बात आप जब करते हैं कि आप सब्जेक्ट के लिए स्पेसिफिक चीज बना दीजिए जल्दी हो जाएगा सब हो जाएगा सब हो नहीं जाएगा देर इज नो मैजिक अबाउट इट इफ यू कीप द सेम जुडिशरी एंगेज फॉर एड ऑन वर्क हाउ कैन दे डिलीवर बेटर देर फोर द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू सीरियसली कंसिडर द क्रिएशन ऑफ द सुटेबल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर द स्पेशलाइज टर्नर ऑल्सो एंड अब ऑल ए वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड quick procedure for many of those terms at the beginning of my this uh, address i said a pool system should be created like take the example of arbitrations today now with the 2015 amendment you have the institutional arbitrators to be encouraged all arbitration centers centers maintain their panel of arbitrators with their profiles with them जब भी कोई स्पेशल टाइप का मुकदमा किस बैकग्राउंड के आर्बिट्रेट के सुटेबल रहेगा उनके सामने आता है वो उस पैनल में से दो तीन नाम सजेस्ट कर देते हैं पार्टीज कैन पिकअप एंड पार्टीज कैन नॉट एग्री सेक्शन 11 कोर्ट विल पिकअप तो जब आपके पास पैनल अवेलेबल होगा तभी तो आप इस तरह का कर पाएंगे ना आपके पास पैनल नहीं आपके जब वैकेंसी डिटरमाइन होती तब तो आप नोटिफाई करते हो कि भाई फला वैकेंसी के लिए आपको इतने मेंबर चाहिए कौन कौन आई एप्लीकेशन कीजिए तो जब वो प्रोसीजर शुरू होता है और उसको खत्म होने में जितना वो साल निकल जाता है तब तक तो उसका वहां वर्क का पूरा हो गया वाई कैंट यू डू इट इन एडवांस वाई कैंट यू कीप ए पूल ऑफ मेंबर्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट जजेस चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स लॉयर्स हाईकोर्ट जजेस फॉर्मर हाईकोर्ट जजेस टू बी रेडी फॉर टेकिंग अप दीज जॉब ऑन वेकेंसी यू विल बी नोटिफाइड यू आर विलिंग कम अदरवाइज नेक्स्ट मैन वी कम 
So a thought has to be given to this, friends. And uh, now hopefully the Tribunal's Reform Bills 2021 Act, it has been now made an act. But since it is under challenge, under scrutiny, or under judicial review by the Honorable Supreme Court, three judges bench now, hopefully after vacations, uh, it will be taken up. So let us hope that uh, something uh, wonderful, something good, something practical will come out of all this and we will be able to uh, have the real sense effective tribunals in the country. Ultimately, you see, you are creating the project of the country, ease of business, ease of justice, ease of access of justice and delivery of justice on an international perspective. When you go to international conferences, you talk about it, are you in this case in this case that we have to make a final decision in our six months or a year in the year? Any problem? I think we are not in this case. I have a small experience that I have had. I think we are not in this case. Why can't it be? It can be. It can be. We don't have any problem. रिसोर्सेस की कमी नहीं है टैलेंट की कमी नहीं है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की कमी नहीं है थोड़ी सी कमी अगर है तो विल पावर टू डू समथिंग तो मैं समझता हूं आज के मेरे स्टॉक से भी अगर दो परसेंट फर्क पड़ता है कहीं भी तो इसका पर्पस अचीव होता है तो जो थीम हमने विकास जी हमने आज के लिए तय करी थी कि फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्स वेदर दे आर रियली फास्ट ट्रैक वेदर दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट तो है आपने सब्जेक्ट बना दिया पर फास्ट ट्रैक सारी एनालिसिस के बाद मेरे ख्याल से मैं नहीं कह सकता कि ये फास्ट ट्रैक हो गया और जब तक आप फास्ट ट्रैक इसको नहीं कर पाएंगे तब तक इसका पर्पज अचीव नहीं हो पाएगा ये मेरा आज के स्टडी का आज के अंडरस्टैंडिंग का सारांश है अब मैं अगर क्वेश्चन आज सर विजय जी के पास आ गए तो वो ले लेते हैं या विकास जी खुद कुछ पूछना चाहे उनके थ्रू पूछे ओवर टू विकास जी थैंक यू सर टू इश्यूज नॉर्मली पीपल डिस्कस अबाउट इज नंबर वन इज लाइक आई विल गिव एन एग्जांपल आफ्टर टीएमए पाई इट सेड दैट फॉर द एजुकेशन ट्राइबनल यू कंस्टिट्यूट अ ट्राइबनल नो इन पंजाब दे हैव दे ट्राइबनल वेयर एन वी आर समटाइम्स डॉक्ट विद दिस इशू दैट देर आर देर इज अम्बर और लाइक इट्स अ थ्री मेंबर Now, they all three are not appointed in one time, which is normal course in any tribunal which issue arises. Is. So what happens is one member has demitted the office because his tenure, they don't start together. So let's assume it's a judicial member, administrative member. So in that case, not only on education tribunal, on all other tribunals, I will say, the problem arises is that one judicial member is there, but the administrative members, he has demitted his office because of the tenure being over. Similarly, sometimes one is on leave since there are only three members or two members the quorum is not complete mm. so one of the remedy could be what people normally suggest about is like i was taking an example from education tribunal in haryana they have appointed the district judge to perform the duties of the education tribunal it has notified and delegated those powers so one way would be like judges of the high court adjudicate all the issues similarly Tribunals which they feel that a single member can do it, it can. The government can think of because the district judges have the full full tenure up to the age of the superannuation. So it is a seal of perpetual succession. They will come. They will be never. The staff of the stenography etc. is not there. Which uh, in tribunals this issue also arises because sometimes it so happens there is one post the steno is retired. So everything comes to a clock. So. ट्रांसफर्ट Otherwise, this issue, a judicial member, an administrative member, somebody retiring early, and there is no uh, substitute for him, then the entire system comes to block. But thankfully, the government, after this COVID-19, as you were saying, we ha we have seen in the Central Administrative Tribunal, one judicial member is from Chandigarh, 
and another is from Bangalore. They participate in the virtual platform virtual and then that process, the work is going on. So these are certain differences where the government has actually worked upon, the judiciary has worked upon, like uh, in a regulatory commission. Earlier, it was all physical. I've been participating in the Punjab State Electricity Regulatory Commission. In that case, it's all virtual. The lawyers participate from Pan India. They also, the judges do come for a physical appearances, but the lawyers are doing. So mm -hmm. these are certain things, like what I told, a case can be taken of central administrative tribunal where one member is from one place, another is from another place. They are doing well. And the government and the Supreme Court, where there's a strong willpower, which, and as I say, in every experience, one learns with a flux of time. These are certain challenges that have come across. It can be plugged in. There could be another process that's a personal take from the lawyers with whom we discuss. That there could be a, rather than five years, six years, once you know that this tribunal will exist, continue up till the age of superannuation. The staff would be of full strength. Now, in certain cases, since the empl employment is on the contractual post, in that case, also some good staff, which is to be attached with the setup, cannot also come forth. Uh, is a good point. I would agree with you, sir, that firstly, the infrastructure should be common with the same retirement age. No, a, one administrative member is there, one has retired, the judicial member is not there. One judicial member has retired and the administrative member is not there. You have a pool of people ready. You can appoint a dog. We, we, we can uh, have it of full tenure. So now the question was, one has posted is, what is the difference between a special court and exclusive special court? There is nothing like exclusive special court at all. A special court That's can be under a special statutory provisions or created on a su subject by the high court also, like commercial courts that you have created. But you have not uh, created a separate cadre for them. The presently available district judges or additional judges are being requested to man the Commercial Courts Act. You have to get a cadre, right? You have to get a cadre when you get a cadre, you have to get a cadre, you have to get a cadre, and district judges. High court system, you know, additional vacancies are determined by additional cadre sin. Then the recruitment process starts. So, the whole year, 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 all India Judges Association judgment which said 10% you keep on increasing. That has worked out well. 10% you have two laws in which you have 100 judges and 10% what do you have to do? You don't have to make a cadre stand in law. You have made a commercial court set, you know how many cases will transfer. You have made a limit of 3,000,000 limit, you know how many cases will come. This can be told by the computer mouse. You have to make a cadre stand in the fund. वो जब तक आप नहीं देंगे जब तक आप कमर्शियल कोर्स को कैसे चाहते हैं कि हम बहुत बढ़िया बना आपने कमर्शियल कोर्ट का कह तो दिया सब बहुत बढ़िया एयर कंडीशन कोर्ट हॉल होगा उसका वेटिंग हॉल होगा उसकी बार रूम होगी ऐसा जैसे इंटरनेशनल कोई लिटिगेशन आ जाए तो अगले को लगना चाहिए मैं खुद इंग्लैंड में कोर्ट देख के आया फर्स्ट क्लास अपना सुप्रीम कोर्ट का डेकर जैसा है वहां का ट्रायल कोर्ट का डेकर देखा मैं तो ठीक है आपके पास इतने फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेज नहीं है अभी पर एक अच्छा बिल्डिंग अच्छा साफ सुथरा एयर कंडीशन चैम्बर और कोर्ट हॉल तो किसी को भी देंगे आप आज की तारीख में वो सब जब तक आप क्रिएट नहीं करेंगे उस लॉ को फुलफिल करने का जो मकसद है वो पूरा नहीं हो सकता सो दैट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट विच द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू सीरियसली थिंक एक डिवाइडेड मैनर में अगर आप किसी प्रॉब्लम को टैकल करेंगे तो वो पूरी नहीं हो जैसे मैंने सजेशन दिया पूल सिस्टम बनाया तो पूल सिस्टम क्यों नहीं बन सकता आप वैसे ही रिटायर्ड जजेस को ही लगा रहे ना सारी ट्रिब्यूनल्स में तो उनके रिटायरमेंट के छह महीने ऑप्शन ले लीजिए अभी आप सर्विस करना चाहेंगे क्या इन ट्रिब्यूनल्स में करनी है तो आपके क्वालिफिकेशन बताइए और एक दिन इंटरव्यू के लिए आ जाइए क्लियर हो जाए आप उसको पेंडल में डाल दीजिए जिस दिन चिट्ठी भेजेंगे हफ्ते भर में ज्वाइन कर लेगा बंदा ये सिस्टम है जो सोच के क्रिएट करने पड़ेंगे आप यूल टू थिंक आउट ऑफ बॉक्स अगर उसी पे चलते रहेंगे जब वैकेंसी बनेगी तब बन सोचेंगे तो फिर वो प्यास लगेगी तब कुआं खोदेंगे वैसी बात हो जाएगी थैंक यू सर एंड एनीबॉडी ऑडियंस हु इज लिसनिंग एंड वांट टू आस्क आई विल जस्ट चेक इट आउट 
I will just check it out on the YouTube. There is one check box which is there. Ek so that was the only question. Special code and exclusive code. नहीं वो तो मैंने बता दिया आपको शायद उसका हाँ बस that was the only question. हाँ special code and exclusive special code वो तो सब वो जो question मैंने पढ़ा था आपके लिए exclusive हो गया सब विष्णु जवारे साहब ने पूछा ये yes मैंने भी देखा है check box. So thank you friends for connecting with us. And certain suggestions which Justice Kothari has given, it will be well received. And the judgment of Roger Matthew also shows some path. And as they say that it's all learning, unchurning yourself, and learning forward and moving forward. Because my, I have a request that if you have this webinar, the sarans, you understand, okay? You have to make a memo and send it to the law ministry to send it to the law ministry. You in every webinar, you have to send something new. You have to learn something new. और ये बहुत अच्छा काम है आई अप्रिशिएट दैट बट देन लेट अस डू समथिंग टू रीच टू द राइट पर्सन और राइट मिनिस्ट्री समवेयर समथिंग विल बी रेड आई बिलीव एंड समथिंग कैन हैपन नो नो एज आई से दैट एनी आइडिया ह्यूमन लॉ मिनिस्ट्री कैन बी रिलेवेंट पीपल यू कैन शेयर द थॉट्स इन अ कंक्रीट फॉर्म इन अ रिटन मेमो काइंड ऑफ टू पेज नोट फॉर देम लेट देम लेट देम हैव सम सो वी आर सीइंग दैट हाउ द जजमेंट ऑफ रोजर मैथ्यूज हाउ द जजमेंट ऑफ El Chandra Kumar, how the other judgments, Madras Bar Association, have given certain suggestions, and we have moved forward, and we are quite sacrosanct that the government and the different courts which have taken things forward, we will continue to evolve and we will improve for betterment. As we have seen that, as Justice Kothari was saying, the infrastructure has improved, the will to do better things from both the executive, judiciary, and the legislature. is coming forth we are quite sure that things will improve for the betterment and before we part for the day and we thank mr kothari because as usual he shares his knowledge which is immaculate his suggestions we are quite sure uh will hit the right point at the right place and as we said there could be a fixed tenure of full retirement age a staff strength which is regular rather than contractual would definitely help the things to move forward and tomorrow session would be uncorroborated evidence of the accomplice the evidentiary value by justice sunil thomas who is a former judge of kerala high court who has remitted the office recently and he was closely associated with the kerala judicial academy so do stay connected with us tomorrow at 6 pm thank you everyone stay safe stay blessed and those who have missed our previous webinars can always subscribe like and share the channel of youtube beyond law clc thank you namaskar okay. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you sir for sharing your knowledge. Thank you Vikas. May thank you have a very good evening.